Well, for 20 years, we've called it War of the Roses to catch a cheater. She kind of feels like her man is just something's not right, man. Her gut is telling her he's pulling away. He took this brand new job and she wanted our help last night to try to catch him if he's cheating or get to the truth. Hey, Meg, good morning. Good morning. You're nervous. Yeah, I'm like really nervous to know, you know, what's going on. Yeah, here's the I, yeah. Here's the truth with these calls. I mean, is like, and I've said this before, when, and you realize it, like within five minutes, everything can just change right here. You know, everything, and and that's a scary fact. So tell us what led us to this point here. Yeah, so I mean, we've been married for twelve years now, and we've never had any like, you know, big issues before, and. Up until recently, he was just like, he was self-employed and that's how, you know, we were just living life and everything was really easy. But then, you know, the pandemic hit and he lost a lot of his clients, most of them, and he had to go back to work for his um, old company, actually. So, I don't know, things were okay for the first couple of months and then he just started getting so so irritable with me and just distant did not want to spend time with me did not want to talk to me like it was like I didn't even know him anymore and that really scared me so he comes home late I hardly ever see him and I don't get like any conversation with him ever um and then he says you know I asked him about it he says he's just he's tired and he's doing like some freelance projects at the same time from his office and he was trying to make extra money so that we can get back to where we were. But, like, I don't know. Something just seems so off. And there's a few times his phone has rung and he's, like, quickly ignored the call, like, when I was there right in front of him. Mm-hmm. And so another time I was actually able to see the screen before he ignored it. And it was a, a woman named Cynthia on the caller ID on the screen. Mm. So what makes me even more paranoid, you know, is that he goes outside and calls the person back when I'm like, you know, inside watching. And I I don't know, it's just, it's very nerve wracking and uneasy and I'm not, you know, I just want to know what's going on. I'm I'm a big fan of these things not working out. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of what I'm trying to say is him sending the flowers to you. So I tried defending him a little bit yesterday saying like is it just possible he's super stressed out maybe he's just got a whole bunch of other things on his mind but then i can't really justify the getting the call or a text and then hiding it from you that's the the scary part like if i'm super stressed and work is overwhelming like you're you're answering phone calls whenever and you're taking that phone call right then because you're stressed and you have to if you have to go outside of earshot yeah. and like have a conversation in the backyard outside of earshot of your wife, that's kind of weird. Mom. It's it's definitely weird. I mean, I, I do tend to take like work calls and certain calls like into private just to have mm-hmm. that moment. Like, is that something that maybe he's done in the past, yeah. or you, have you never experienced that? I've never experienced that. I mean, you know, he's self-employed, so he was home, you know, a lot more often. And you know, I I know his business. I know what's going on at work. So that is. That was just really a red flag for me. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. And yeah. I'm, and I'm not, is there a special occasion coming up? <laughs> you like maybe. So hard. All right. Because here. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Wait. 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 Because Tiffany, my fiance, has a birthday coming up. Mm-hmm. Right. So I have been extra careful of protecting my phone because there's some stuff on that phone right now that if she sees will ruin some surprises i got planned for her birthday okay? you told me one of the surprises okay. yeah keep it yep. i'm oh, worried i'm worried about you not getting <laughs> a lot um so is there a special occasion coming up that maybe he's trying to organize on the phone and trying to keep you away from that maybe i mean i'm i'm not sure our anniversary isn't for another like four and a half months so i'm not I, I I don't know. I feel that's a lot of planning. If if it is, that's how much he loves you. Yeah. Four and a half that's months. About the time you need before the anniversary. Yeah. He's planning. He's trying to keep the phone secret. That's all that it's is. It's gonna be off I the chain. It's so it's important. Gonna be crazy. He got an anniversary planner. <laughs> like some people just get wedding planners. He got an anniversary planner named Cynthia. Yeah, that man in love. <laughs> <laughs> Four months ahead of time. He's yes. going to be spending all kinds of time planning this party with Cynthia for you. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's hope I that's the case. I don't know how I feel about that. I know. Yeah, I don't either. Fair. Bert's yeah. trying really hard. I am. <laughs> like, I'm trying. Because, you know, I've gone through a divorce and I, it just, it sucks. There's nothing great about it. So I hope these, quote unquote, fail. I hope they fail and he sends the flowers to you. All right. So what do we got, Davi? All right, Meg, we're going to take you to the flower shop. We sent a fake promotional email to the email address that you provided for your husband. He was offered a free bouquet of flowers and was able to choose from several options. In exchange, we asked him to share five promo codes for 30% off a future order with friends and family. And he could choose from the following options. Here we go. Austin flowers. (laughs) Pink and orange cone flower mixed with geranium, sweet potato vine, and phlox. That sounds like a meal, (laughs) right? Brighten anyone's day and make sure they're feeling groovy, baby. Back to the fuchsia. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You may not be able to change what you did with time travel, but this colorful bouquet of fuchsia carnations, green spider seranthemums... Yeah, sure. Ooh. Chrysanthemums. Yeah, Chrysanthemums. Way to sound I did it out. It. Oh, Yo, that's well done. You're like Thank Eliza you. with her sight words. Thank you. <laughs> and mini hydrangea. It's sure to show them that you're sorry. Flirty dancing. Fl- flirty. Flirty dancing. Flirty? It's like, it's like dirty dancing, but flirty. Flir- okay. Flirty. Flirty. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> baby pink roses, Alstroemeria, miniature hot pink carnations, leather leaf fern, and baby's breath. It's a bouquet so beautiful that nobody will want to put it in a corner. <laughs> Florist gump. <laughs> Why send flowers when you could send a box of chocolates too? <laughs> Two dozen long stem red roses and a box of chocolates. It's perfect for your one true love. The first promotional email was sent at 11.05 a.m. He replied almost right away. Put his order in by 11.32 a.m. He chose Floris Gump. Why send flowers when you can send a box of chocolates and two dozen long stem red roses? So box of chocolates, two dozen Uh long stem red roses. I said it's the most romantic of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. To me? To be sent to... (laughs) He listed the radio station's address, and the name on the card is Bert. I'm getting chocolates today. <laughs> hey. he, he listens what? to the show. Okay. He, does he listen to the show? Oh, my God. So, Meg, the note on the card is to Bert, and it says, I'm not cheating, and B, I'm not dumb enough to fall for this. <laughs> Go meddle somewhere else. All right. So, Meg, first things first. It's only four letters. Bert, B-E-R-T. I mean, you're, do you have to just use B? Hey, B. If oh, yeah, just, just spell it out? Write out my name. It's yeah. four letters. Maybe he's calling you a B. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, All right, Meg, so um, he says he's not cheating. He did you, did you know he listens to the morning show, to Bert show? No, I didn't know that. That must be something. I never heard him, like, listen to the radio ever. <laughs> he has, like, what? Well, maybe Cynthia oh, does. Or don't, Cynthia don't do that. Does. Don't do that. Uh-huh. The one listening. <laughs> so we can't really answer any questions for you. He listens. It's happened has happened to us before. So we got nothing for you. We but got at had. least now we got a communication coming because he's gonna walk in the door going, So you think I'm cheating, huh? And that's when you can start that dialogue, you know? Yeah, like who's Cynthia? Yeah. That's right. That's a good place yeah. to start. It's gonna be an interesting conversation. Yeah. And he's a good man for planning this uh, anniversary four and a half months out. That's awesome. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> that is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the Bird Show.